Hello everyone, welcome to Edumon tutorial series. I am Nivedita and I will be helping you with computer programming using C and numerical methods. In chapter 1 which is introduction to C, we will be seeing basic structure of C program, constants, variables and data types, operators and expressions, arithmetic precedence and associativity, type conversions, managing input and output operations, formatted input and formatted output. C in short. C is developed by Dennis Ritchie in 1972. It is a robust language which is a low level programming language. C is widely used in software development field. C is a procedure and a structure oriented language which is highly portable. C is a compiled language. Now what is a compiler? A compiler is a special tool that compiles the program and converts it into the object file which is machine readable. Now, how does a compiler actually takes part in the execution of a C program? Initially, we will write the source code and save the file using the .c extension. Now, this written source code is compiled using a compiler as an object file. Now, after the compilation process, the linker will combine the different object files and creates a single executable file to run the program. This sequential diagram shows the three processes. The first topic of the lecture is the basic structure of a C program. Every code has more or less the same structure. The first section is the documentation section. This section is used for giving comments on the program. The second section is the link section. Link section is used to make reference to the header file. The third section is the definition section which is used to define constants for the program. The fourth section is the global declaration section which is used to declare variables that can be shared among different functions within the program. The fifth section is the main function which has two different subsections. The first section being the declaration section and the second section is the executable section. The declaration section contains local declarations for the main function and the executable section contains actual executable instructions for the program. The last section is the subprogram section which contains one or more user defined functions. Now let us have a look at the sample program and compare our sections. The first section which includes the file name, the author, the date and the description come under the documentation section. This section is used to tell about the program. Coming to the link section is where we have hash include studio.h where the header file is used to link. The third section is the definition section which includes the definitions. Here because we used the program to calculate area of a cir circle we defined pi value. The fourth section is the global declaration section and the fifth section is the main section. The main section actually has the program code. The program code here we have an uh, we have the declaration section and the actual executable section. After the executable section, the last section is the subprogram section where a function is being referred here. The output of the program is given here. The second topic in the lecture is constants. Now, what are constants? Constants refer to fixed values that the program may not alter during the execution. Constants are similar to variables except their values remain same throughout the program. Now, syntax of the con constants, we have two different types of uh, defining the constants. One is using the const keyword and two is using the define keyword. Constants are of two types primary constants and secondary constants. Primary constants is further classified into numeric constants and character constants. Under numeric constants, we have integer constants where values of integers are stored like positive 325, 34, 10, etc. And real constants which have real numbers, uh, 426.0, like that, so on. Character constants are those which have a single character constants, string constants and backslash character constants. Single character constants are usually alphabets. String constants 
have a sequence of characters. Backslash character constants have a backslash followed by a character. Here slash t refers to a tab space and slash n is re refers to a new line. Secondary character constants are arrays, pointers, structure, union, enum, etc. We will discuss more about secondary constants in the coming lectures. Consider the below program. In this program, side is mentioned using the keyword constant. That is, its value is not going to change throughout the program and the area is calculated using the same constant. In the next program, we have side use, uh, defined using the defined keyword and the area is calculated using the same value. Variables A variable is a data name that may be used to store a data value. Variable is the name of the memory location. Now, there are certain conditions to be followed while naming a variable. Uh, we have to begin the variable name with a letter or an underscore. ANSI recognizes the length of only 31 characters as the variable name. Few compilers only recognize 8 characters of the variable name. Uppercase and lowercase letters are significant. That is, T-O-T-A-L is different from T-O-T-A-L. The variable names should not be a keyword and white space between the variable names is not allowed. Example of variables are John, Value, Sum and so on. Data Types C language is rich in its data types. ANSI C supports three classes of data types. They are primary or fundamental data types, derived data types, user defined data types. In primary data types, we have integer, character, boolean, float data type, and void data type. Talking about integer data type, C has three classes of integer storage, namely short int, int, and long int in both signed and unsigned forms. The size of short int is 8 bits or 1 byte, and that of int is 16 bits or 2 bytes, and that of long int is 32 bits or 4 bytes. Coming to char data type, we have signed and unsigned char. The size of both signed and unsigned char is 8 bits. Coming to the floating point, we have 32 bits or 4 bytes. And that of a double is 64 bits. And that of a long double is 80 bits. A floating point or real numbers are stored in 32 bits with 6 digits of precision and that for double floating point it has 14 digits of precision. In the derived data types we have array, function and pointer about which we are going to discuss in the upcoming lectures. The third type is the user defined data types. In the user defined data types we have enum, typedef, union and structure. Coming to typedef Type refers to an existing data type and identifier refers to the new name given to the data type. The main advantage of type def is that we can create meaningful data type names for increasing the readability of the program. Consider this example. Type def int and units. This, name, this units is used to declare another variable batch1. What is the type, uh, type data type of batch1? It is nothing but integer. Coming to enum, enum is also called as enumerated data types. The identifier is, is a user defined enumerated data type which can be used to create, to declare variables that can have one of the values enclosed within the braces. Consider the given example, enum day, Monday, Tuesday and so on Sunday and enum day, week st, week end. Now, when we have to uh, dec when we have to initialize the week st, st, week st, we can take any of the above given values enclosed within the braces. I would take week st to be Monday and week end to be Friday. That's all about enumerated data types. 
and coming up uh, talking about union and structure we will be discussing this in the upcoming lectures that's all about the first lecture thank you